Some dog lovers aren't so in love with a policy at a privately run dog park. The park's owner says pit bulls are welcome, but that's the only breed that has to stay on a leash. Fox Horse Calvert Collins in Uptown Dallas at Mutt's Canine Cantina. What's the reaction, Calvert? Well, it's been pretty mixed, but overall pretty supportive of Mutt's uh, Canine Cantina. You know, this is a really novel concept. As you mentioned, it's a private dog park, one for small dogs, others for large, and it's really an urban park for so many apartment dwellers who live nearby. Most people were supportive, but not all were thrilled about it, especially those pit bull owners. <laughs> It's a two-acre haven for furry friends and strangers, large and small. Well, we wanted to cater to both the four-legged friends and our two-legged guests. Mutt's Canine Cantina serves the 5,000 residents in the surrounding 300 yards of apartments and condos in West Village. The restaurant dog park's insurance provider initially used the breed restrictions of many of those same buildings, which included Chows, Dobermans, Rottweilers, Huskies, German Shepherds, Pitbulls, and Sharpays. But after public backlash, Mutt's altered the restriction to only include Pitbulls off the leash. Having the, the insurance company work with us, uh, they did a lot of research and they set policies that they felt comfortable with. Now we were able to go back and uh, and kind of let them feel a little bit more comfortable with loosening some of the policies. Dallas Dog Life blogger Yvonne Ibarra, who posted the restrictive policy on Facebook, hopes Mutz will look into getting another more inclusive insurer. But there are other companies and it's it's just a matter of if what you want, you, you can find a supplier to give you what you want. Percy! <laughs> Ibarra owns a pit bull, two chihuahuas, and a Pekingese, and knows pits get a bad reputation and doesn't want them further punished. Not all pit bulls are bad. Um, not all Labradors are wonderful dogs. That's just the way it is. In Mutt's first two days of business, owner Kyle Noonan says there have been no incidents with any dogs. He understands owners' passions for their canine. He also says Mutt's is just following the rules it was given. We want to really make sure that we make as many people happy as possible and be as fair and judicious as possible. And we looked up a Texas state law on this because cities and counties cannot discriminate based on any dog breed. They only categorize dogs as dangerous dogs or not, but they never mention a specific breed in state law. But private establishments don't have to abide by those same rules and have far more flexibility. So we again want to make sure this is clear. Pit bulls are still welcome at Muds. They just are not welcome off a leash in the dog park area but they are welcome on the patio. And private establishment makes a difference. Calvert Collins, live in Uptown, thanks.